now there are some other kind of relationships available okay i'm not talking about the real life uh, i'm just talking about the salesforce side okay don't uh, don't find this funny or don't uh, think too much just think about the salesforce side the first one is a many to many relationship now take a look at this example i've put forward for you student and a course so right now you're viewing this particular tutorial you can still choose to watch another tutorial from another curriculum I have let's say three curriculum or four curriculum available one is for the developer one is for admin one is for flows one is for triggers so you as one student can opt for multiple courses yes no yes you can a single course can be opted by multiple student yes or no yes both the answers are yes what does this this tell you it's a many to many relationship meaning from both side the two objects or two entities that are associated can be can indulge into one to many from both sides right so this tells you a student can take up multiple courses a course can be opted by multiple students this is called a many to many relationship all right and how do you handle this in salesforce salesforce lets you create a junction object right this junction object handles the unique relationship of every student for every course. This object table holds an entry for every course a student has signed up for. Okay, so how would this table look like? Let me just get that example sample here. Let's say Amrita is the student who has opted for my flow builder class right amrita again has also opted for the triggers masterclass all right then let's say the zankit who recently won a book giveaway right so let's say the zankit who's looking at my developer masterclass and then ankit is also i'm sorry ankit is also into the administrator masterclass and there's one more person, let's say Geeta, who's in the Experience Cloud Masterclass. So you see how this relationship is. One student is part of multiple courses. Correct? Or let's say this is Triggers. And this is not Greta, this is Geeta. And if you see, one course is opted by multiple students. Now you see the way I've built this particular table. This table is nothing but the junction object. What does this, this tell you? This tells you the student who has enrolled and the course that they have enrolled for. So you get this unique mapping, correct? This is how you can get the unique mapping. And this would be one object, this would be another object. And how are they linked? through a many to many relationship by creating a custom object. And what is that custom object called? That custom object is co called enrollments. This is the name of the object. What does this object hold? It holds a master detail relationship to the object student and one more relationship field on course. And it stores the identity of each record by storing the relationship values on row level. All right, so this is enrollment one. This is E02, this is E03 and so on and so forth. Make sense? So you see how you are able to handle many to many relationship in Salesforce by creating a junction object. All right. That was about many to many relationship. Thank you.